So in this video, we're going to be starting something that is called the product rule. Okay. That what that basically is, is that how do you differentiate when you have two expressions that are being multiplied such that you cannot actually multiply them and boil them down or bring them down to a single expression. Like for example, over here, now I know you may be thinking that uh, we can sort of expand 3x minus 1 the whole thing cube and we can of course very easily expand x plus 2 the whole thing square and then we can multiply the two expressions together, simplify them, bring them down to a single expression and then differentiate. And you're absolutely right, you can totally do that, okay? But it's going to take a lot of time, okay? And in some cases, like what if the power is in fraction then? We don't know yet how to expand an expression when you have a power is in fractions, okay? So that is when product rule comes in really handy. Now first things first. Let's understand how product rule is actually applied, okay? So we generalize the two expressions by calling one u and the other v, okay? So every time you have to differentiate something that looks like u v, this is how it's done. You take v as it is, that means the second function, multiplied by the differential of the first function, which means u prime, and the prime here is just to denote that it's the differential of the function u, okay? Plus, then you take the first function as it is, okay? And then you multiply it by the differential of the second function, which is v prime, okay? Now you may be thinking that, um, why don't we write this as uv prime plus vu prime? Now you're right in doing so, but later on when we're doing quotient rule, in that case, we're gonna have a minus over here, so you might mess up the order, okay? With addition, the order doesn't matter whether it's three plus two or two plus three, the answer is the same, okay? But it's best that if you want to memorize it, you memorize it like this only, okay? Following the same order. Anyway, so how do we do this question? How do we apply this over here? Let's see. So it's a good idea to first write down u and v, okay? Try and be as systematic, sorry, not power three, oh, power two, it's power three. Yeah, so as I was saying, try and be as systematic as possible, okay? And try and make sure that you're working as, as neat as possible, okay? So u prime then becomes three. So we're using the rules of composite function over here. Three gets multiplied by three x minus one. You reduce the power by one, so it becomes square. And then you multiply it by the differential of three x minus one, which is going to be three. And then of course you simplify it. So this becomes nine into three x minus one, the whole thing square. So this is u prime, okay? Some people call it u dash also. That's perfectly all right. So v is x plus two, the whole thing square. What's v prime going to be? v prime is going to be two into x plus two to the power one. Okay, so if you want, you can expand it and then write it as two x plus four. Okay, but that's entirely up to you, okay? Now, I like to make these arrows over here, which sort of tell me what needs to be multiplied by what, okay? Now, you don't really have to do it with the help of a scale or something, okay? Uh, but since I can, I'm definitely gonna take advantage of it. So v u prime plus u v prime, okay? So vu prime basically means, now remember what you're doing now is divide by dx. So vu prime basically means x plus two, the whole thing square is getting multiplied. This dot here means that it's getting multiplied by nine into three x minus one, the whole thing square, okay? Then you put a plus sign and then you do uv prime, which means three x minus one, the whole thing cubed multiplied by two into x plus two, yeah. Now, before you move on, Try and write it in a way so that it's easy for you to sort of understand what you've written, okay? So try, like for example, this nine over here, I'm not gonna leave it over here. I'm gonna bring it at the very beginning because that's how you write a constant, which is then being multiplied by an expression, okay? So this is how I'm gonna write it. Nine into x plus two, the whole thing square, bracket, three x minus one, the whole thing squared, okay? Plus two into x plus two, into 3x minus one, the whole thing cubed. Now you might have noticed one thing, is that I've changed the order over here. Now, there's if you don't do it, it's, it's not, there's nothing wrong with that. But the reason why I've done that is because usually when you're differentiating using product rule and when you have powers that are more than one or two, you do have to at some point take something common, okay? Now, if I leave the answer over here, mind you, it's perfectly all right, okay? But in some cases, the question will say that show that dy by dx is equals to this, or show that dy by dx can be written in the form of this plus this or something like that, okay? So in that case, you know exactly what else can be done with the expression so that you can bring it equal to the way the question wants you to bring it equal to, okay? So if you look at over here, you can see that there are a few expressions that we that are common, okay? So you have x plus two, the whole thing square here, and you have x plus two, the whole thing to the power of one. So that means we can take x plus two to the power of one common, okay? 
and then you have 3x minus 1, the whole thing square, and then you have 3x minus 1, the whole thing cubed. So what's common here? It's 3x minus 1, the whole thing square. Okay, so that means we can take that common also. 3x minus 1, the whole thing square, okay? And then it's a good idea to make a square bracket inside and see what it is that you're going to multiply it so that it brings it it then becomes equal to the original expression okay so first thing that's missing is the 9 okay and then what you've taken common is x plus 2 the whole thing to the power of 1 so that means there's a x plus 2 missing also that means you need to multiply it by an x plus 2 in order to bring it equal to the original expression okay and then plus so clearly we need to multiply this by 2 okay so that it uh, so that it becomes equal to the original expression and then we have x plus 2 to the power 1 here and we have x plus 2 to the power 1 here also here however we have 3x minus 1 the whole thing squared and here we have 3x minus 1 the whole thing cubed so that means i need to multiply it by 3x minus 1 to the power 1 to bring it equal to the original expression okay and then you have a lot of options you can expand what you have inside the bracket and simplify it okay it all depends on how the question wants you to give the final answer okay so you got to make sure that you have you're mentally prepared for all of this okay and not just sort of mentally prepared but make sure that you watch out and see what the question is asking for and you give your answer in that manner okay so let's say the question wants us to simplify so here's what i'm going to do 9x plus 18 plus 6x minus 2 okay and then this further can be simplified and written as 9 plus 6 is 15x 18 minus 2 is 16 so here's one bracket and then you have 3x minus 1, the whole thing square from before. And then you have x plus 2 from before. Also, let me just double check. 9x plus 18 plus 6x minus 2, 15x. Yeah, so it looks good to me. And yeah, this, I planned on doing more examples, but I think it's enough for this video. Okay, so this is just an introduction to product rule. I hope you guys have understood exactly what I've done in this video. In the next video, inshallah, we'll do some examples and we'll try and cover the basic ones as well as the complex ones in the same video. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.